What a day. Or lack thereof. Yesterday I uh, was kind of surprised at the amount I was able to hunt because I was pretty sure that the forecast said it was going to be a complete washout. Then it wasn't. I got to hunt. Should have killed a couple turkeys. Just things weren't perfect. Today, I was like, well, maybe it'll be the same thing. They said it was going to be like a bad, bad, windy day. Maybe it won't be quite as bad as they said it was going to be. Nope, today was everything they said it was going to be, plus some. I've not loaded a gun today. All that being said, I brought myself out here at roost time for a couple reasons. First off, the wind advisory stopped at 7, and roosting time is about 7.45, 8, so I was hoping it would lay down enough to hear. It hasn't. And just because I had I had cabin fever and staring at that flipping computer all day from the McDonald's to a got a room, got a hotel room so I could get some power in my laptop to edit all day. That's what I've done. So anyway, I just had to get out. That's what I've done. But I don't know if it's going to be productive or not. So the winds will have to hit a pause button real quick though because they should be flying up right about now. hear a thing. We'll get real close to this mic, but it appears all the turkeys that we left yesterday are still there. Top of the morning to you. We're still in Iowa, and we are still waiting on Mother Nature to give us a break. Wind has uh, got the flags on point still, but it is nothing like yesterday, so I am hoping we will see a little break in the wind today. But yeah, this morning we're gonna try to slip in there and try to get in amongst these turkeys before it ever breaks daylight. Uh, we heard a couple last uh, evening, yesterday evening, through the wind, we was able to put our ears on a couple of turkeys and they're still living in those same places that we dealt with them t two mornings ago now. So we got these finger ridges that dump down off in. We got uh, turkeys on two of them and I think there's one ridge separating them. We're gonna set up on one of them that was the turkey we dealt with later in the day two days ago he was by himself then from what i could tell um and we're gonna try to deal with him first even though i feel like the second turkey we heard yesterday evening was the turkey that we crawled in on had the big flock of turkeys with it um, i'm assuming he's still in the same condition surrounded by jakes and hens and whatever so he's plan b um if something doesn't happen and we uh if if we don't connect on the first bird we're going to go in after him because i think he's going to fly down and stay in that same bowl that he was calling home the other day so he's my he's my backup plan so anyways we obviously going to choose the turkey we think might react to a call and be by itself first and uh yeah that's all let's go hunting
man, that was a turkey from across the other side. Didn't even know he was in the world. I'm not sure how good I hit in. I gotta jump on him. Jesus. Oh, yeah. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's all over. Oh. Just like that. Goodness gracious. Got in your mocks them today, boys. Lord have mercy. We finally got us some weather for Iowa. I've been in this laid over tree. Let's see if I can show you. That laid over tree is where I'm at. Now I didn't know it looks like a million miles away because I'm using a GoPro right now, but this old black tree right here actually the one i got my gun on was exactly 40 yards because i remember that this black tree i was like i gotta get him in front of that black blade over tree and these two gobblers in a hen were right there about 30 yards and i'm sitting here watching them this turkey's been gobbling at him from over here all morning. They've been going back and forth, back and forth. And about that time, I just look up and see him come across the ridge top right here and he is storming toward them two gobblers for a fight. And I had that hole and I cut at him and that joker stopped right behind him. One of these little trees lined right up with him where he stopped and I just killed him there. Then I get him to stop one more time. It was right here. And oh man, he is a beautiful, beautiful representation of an owl gobbler. I'm talking to beauty. Lord of mercy. Look at that thing. Knew I saw that. And God, I thought I had not hit him so good but there's pellets all in his waddle so I guess I did and he ain't done a whole lot of getting away so golly that can change that quick time here is just just breaking daylight man what a beautiful time to be alive Yes. I'm gonna put this thing up. It's done what it's supposed to do. Thank you, bud. You did a, you did another good one. Put it in my call water. If you ain't got one, check it out. Penhodyproject.com. It's fancy. Holds all them yelpers for you. Uh oh. We'll run y'all through my little setup here because it was a flawless. Check that thing out. That old fell over a tree. I saw it in the dark. I was walking in in a gray light. And I got in here and I said, man, that thing's got a split. And I got in right between that split there. I was nestled in here. Me and the camera boat. We're looking right under this limb here. I'm sure you'll be able to hear it on the camera. I had the camera sitting above my right. We're looking right here at these gobblers. I think he had just come into sight. And I heard, <laughs> I looked up in a dang hen. I have no idea how we didn't spook this hen coming in here. Cause I was still fidgeting in between my log here, getting everything situated about all morning until the gobbler flew down. She flew down right there by that dark tree right there. I think that's the one. Yeah. I mean, that's, 
20 yards maybe and she flew down and hit the ground right there and I said holy crap he was already on the ground right there and then when that happened another turkey flew down right here in front of me at about 45 or 45 probably and started walking to the left I thought it was another hen it went through this little gap in front of me. I said, there, there's another turkey, another hen's going to me. I looked and had a big swing beard. I said, no, that's another dang long beard. I could have just killed that turkey. But she stood right here beside me. I mean, I just couldn't do nothing. I just froze. And I cut my eyes back over there after a minute or two. Because when she hit the ground, she was all business. I thought she'd done pick me out because I wasn't too sure she wasn't looking in the viewfinder. And she had walked up behind me about 10 more yards this way to the good. And I thought, man, this is going to be perfect. Well, they st hung up over there and noticed they had another hen with them. So I was like, well, she settled down. I looked back at her and she was feeding. I thought, well, she don't have a clue what's going on. I've got a pretty good hide. I'm on call. And when I called, buddy, she, pick, 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 pick. And buddy, they went to gobbling. And that, God, that was just a perfect scenario. Perfect scenario. Tell y'all something, he's a 10 out of 10. That dang beard right there. Courtney always complaining about how her, she needs her ponytail to be thicker. She needs to take whatever that old boy right there has been on because he got it figured out. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.